Environmental activists are planning to fly drones in Heathrow Airport's exclusion zone later this week in an attempt to shut it down. The Heathrow Pause Group have said they will operate a small toy drone from 3am on Friday to put pressure on the government to take tougher steps to reduce carbon emissions. Today, the airport warned that, that anyone operating a drone in the exclusion zone will be subject to the full force of the law. Joined from our central London studio by a member of the Heathrow Pools group, uh, Sylvia Dell. Hello to you, Sylvia. Thanks for joining us. You know okay. you're going to be breaking the law. Yes, I am well aware of that. But uh, while prison is terrifying, what's coming, hurtling towards us in terms of catastrophic climate and ecological breakdown, is far more terrifying. And I feel called to act. This action that we are undertaking has been designed to be safe, 100% safe. We're flying, as you mentioned, toy drones at head height. And we'll be flying them from before planes start flying in the morning until late at night. And how Heathrow Aviation Authority responds, we're not quite sure. We expect them to shut down their planes because after all this is their legislation. Um, we have been fully aware, we've fully informed the police officers that this action is necessary, it's essential because the third runway at Heathrow is madness given that we are already experiencing a catastrophic climate breakdown. You know, you can either take the climate emergency seriously or you can expand Heathrow. But you can't do both. Okay. But if you're only going to fly a toy drone at head height, they're not going to close the airport down for that, are they? According to the guidance, they are required to if there is a drone in the air. So we are going to be absolutely clear cut. We intend to live stream our flights uh, to demonstrate that, yes, we are breaking the law. And then when we finished, the pilot will sit down and ring the hotline and notify the police that we are where we are uh, and wait to be arrested. This is done as a way of being disruptive, but non-violent and respectful. And also that there is an element of self-sacrifice so that we show everybody the enormity of what we are facing. We have such a small window of opportunity to cut carbon emissions. And the idea of having a third runway to expand Heathrow's already enormous emissions by another 40% is, quite frankly, lunacy. This, isn't, this is genocide, not by intent, but through neglect. Our government is neglecting our own safety and the safety of those people who are alive today they will be suffering the catastrophic breakdown as it's coming through. This isn't some pipe dream way off in the future. This is very real. People are experiencing it already in the global south. We only see the, the tip of the iceberg up here, but it is coming and we will be... Your previous article mentioned about refugees. The United Nations is warning us that vast areas of the world could be uninhabitable. The climate, uh, the refugee crisis you just reported on will be nothing compared okay. to what is coming. Why, why are you not going for the element of surprise then? Because, you know, if they know that these are toy drones and they know that, that you're not going to fly into the path of uh, an aeroplane, then they know where you're going to be, they, they know what you're going to do, they're not going to take you seriously and you're not going to close, they're not going to close the airport. So why didn't you go for the elephant of surprise on Friday when they wouldn't have known what was going on? We don't do element of surprise. Uh, part of the philosophy that we're working with, the sort of the, the, the theory of social change, is that we respect other people. We respect and we gave warning. We gave six weeks notice of this action, explicitly so that people would be able to take appropriate action. As far as I'm aware, Heathrow Aviation Authority didn't notify anybody. This has really been kept very quiet. They they only agreed to meet us uh, just over a week ago. Um, 
I don't think they believed us and they probably still don't believe us, but it's happening, it's real. And if they are true to their word in terms of complying with their own regulations, then Heathrow will be shut down for several days because we have sufficient pilots to be able to run a rotor system um, for a number of days. You know that's not going to happen though, don't you, Sylvia, given the fact that you've told them what's going to happen. It, it, I, I don't understand why you didn't do it as an element of surprise. I hear what you're saying, but in order to have the most impact, that's what you should have done. And the fact that they know where you're going to be, they know what you're going to do, they know that you're not going to be a threat to any aeroplanes, they're just going to the let you crack on. <laughs> there is a possibility of that, you are correct. That is, that is a risk, and it's one that, mm, yeah, it concerns me that I may get arrested f without having shut down the airport. Yes, that obviously is a concern. I don't want to disrupt people. I don't want to upset them. But it's disruption that the government actually listens to. The government doesn't listen to just talking about it or mentioning it on TV or filling in protest forms or anything like that. But they do seem to listen when we disrupt, when we cause major economic disruption. That seems to strike a chord and seems to get action. And action is what is needed. And if this is the only way that we can achieve that action, then so be it. You know, we cannot be, we cannot be oblivious to this. Catastrophic climate change is here. The United Nations say less than 12 years. We only have a couple of more years to start making those necessary changes. That's not my words. That's Antonio Guterres, the United Nations Secretary General. You know, this has been warned for decades and we are now reaching the end game. If we do not take serious action, if the government does not take serious action very, very soon now, then we will, our children will not have a future. Okay the planet will not be inhabitable for human life, okay. and complex life forms. Okay, good to talk to you. Thanks very much indeed for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Kay. Much appreciated. Thank you. Still to come, we've got the very latest sport for you.